everyone once again, and welcome. As always, I am your kind and humble DM, Mr. Ralph, and this is going to be another summary video. Uh, unfortunately, I've been away on a hiatus. I haven't been continuing the videos, but the games have not stopped. Uh, so I'm making this video to kind of recap as where we left off. Now, if you watched the last summary, then you know we left off with the party uh, receiving a message uh, from a man named Calorel. Well, what they did was they heeded this message and they met Calorel in a field outside of the town of Waterdeep, where they were uh, attacked by cultists and zombies and several undead, uh, even a Dracolich, which they actually dispatched. They did pretty good against him. Um, upon his death, upon the death of the Dracolich, um, Calorel had given a message to Jintuk, telling him that he survived this test and he looked forward to encountering him in the future. After which time, um, the Dracolich's soul, which was being tracked by the the, God, the, the spirit of the God's Bane Dagger, uh, had re revealed to them that the soul had switched realms, had gone into the realm of the Nintir Vale, and landed somewhere outside of a city called Falkris. Uh, the party uh, was contacted by a dwarf uh, from Falkrist who then asked him to uh, save them because the town was under attack. Upon arriving in Falkrist they found a ghost town. Everyone was gone. Um, there was no signs of life save for one person, Calorel. Uh, they quickly encountered and defeated Calorel. Um, well, not too quickly. I'm a good DM after all. Uh, but they defeated him and Calorel revealed something that his job was simply to distract them. Learning this, they quickly returned to Waterdeep and found it in ruin. It had been attacked by what locals had claimed to be a, an army wearing dragon-style masks, riding the backs of dragons. Uh, upon further investigation, um, they learned that uh, it was not just Waterdeep that had been attacked, but every city in Waterdeep, uh, in Faerun, had been attacked. Um, they were invited to a council, seeing as how they were heroes in the city of Waterdeep. They were invited to attend a council meeting, where more information had been obtained. Uh, turns out the city was attacked by a group known as the Cult of the Dragon. And plans were being made to fight back against this group because the attacks had not ceased. Many other uh, factions had report, were reporting their cities being attacked, uh, even as the council was meeting. So the party was basically uh, given the task of investigating these attacks and finding the source and dealing with it. Well, they then... Basically, they started this. The Rise of Tiamat. Tiam was to the coast. Um, They're currently playing through this encounter. They've played through the Council of Waterdeep in the first episode, which is the Sea of Moving Ice. Uh, the Sea of Moving Ice is where they basically fight a white dragon. Uh, the white They fought valiantly and dispatched the white dragon, known as the Old White Death. Um, they returned to Waterdeep and gave their update uh, as to what they had learned, uh, and they had even recovered Macast the Crimson, a powerful sorceress, <coughs> a tiefling sorceress, um, and that's where they are right now. Uh, if you want a little bit more detail, um, as to exactly what transpired in the intervening time, uh, then you're going to have to pick up the book, because my time is short on this video. Uh, but that's basically where we are. We're fixing to start episode two, um, Death to the Worm Speakers, where they will be chasing down Varam the White. So pick up the book, or download it. Uh, as I've always said, I highly support downloading of the books. And we look forward to seeing you in our further adventures. Take it easy.